Hi, Scott with Seaman Custom Builds here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the advanced settings and features on T2 Laser, as well as setting up the grid for your wasteboard. I hope you find this video helpful. In my previous video on using T2 Laser, I walked you through how to set up and configure and connect to your engraver. In this video, we'll talk about some advanced features, as well as setting up the grid for your wasteboard. Let's start by opening an image here. So here we're going to use my logo, but maybe the piece I'm putting in, I want to reverse or flip over. I found this for a few times on canoe paddles where I can't place it the direction it would normally be. It would be upside down. So a simple solution, we go up to edit and we can rotate and we can rotate again. So either clockwise or counterclockwise twice. Now our image is upside down from where it started. This means I can put the piece in opposite of what I normally would and still get the correct orientation. So we'll clear that out. We'll go down to file and clear. So we're going to work on our waste board. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go up to mode and we're going to Select Sketch Hatched. We've got that checked. Then we'll go to Settings, Advanced Settings, Hatch Options, and Custom Spacing. So this is where you determine what size you want your blocks. I wanted mine uh, one inch, so I went with 25 millimeters. And then I also make sure that I had crosshatch so that I get the, the lines going both ways. So we're good there to sketch. We need to set our size. This doesn't much matter. Let's just say 250 by 250. Select our rectangle and click and draw that out. You'll see we have a grid there. I'll say our spacing is what we want. We'll click. We're going to go to settings. We're going to Put our overlay details, so this tells us what we have, our max height width. We can go to our little cog and generate G-code. Let's bring this back to our screen, and we can hit our control laser. We already talked about how to connect, but if your COM port's not there, just hit your lightning bolt, and it'll connect. So we're going to see we're connected down here at COM3. We are got the right code. We're ready. Gives us our time of 2 minutes 44 seconds. Next, we need to focus our laser. Put the laser on. Get down to our pinpoint. You can kind of see that change there. Laser off. Move our foil. At this point, if we want to confirm where our laser is going to engrave, we can go up to Machine. We can trace frame, you can engrave frame, which will actually turn the laser on. We can do a trace frame. So let's try that. We'll make sure we know where it's going to go. And this can be really helpful with a picture as well to make sure you're going to actually be on the piece you're engraving on that you won't go off the edge. Okay, so we're good there. I'm going to close my enclosure. And now we're ready to send the G-code. We watch this. It moved up to the top corner, and it's going to start that grid. This may be a setting that you want to do at a very slow speed to make sure you get a nice, good burn. I can also show you how if I slow that feed rate down. We can tell our engraving it's a little darker.
This grid is a great way to make sure you're lining your pieces up square to your engraver as you do multiples down the road. The last thing you would like is a crooked engraving um, to give to a, a family or a friend. Uh, maybe it's a customer. And as you can also see in this video, plywood can be very funny where one spot it does really well and then the next spot it doesn't. I think that's related to the glues that are used that help dissipate the heat as well as the multiple layers. And this should give you a good idea how to set this up on whatever substrate you got you have your engraver sitting on. Like I said, I would make sure I go over it a couple times and get it nice and dark. Hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more T2 laser engraver tips. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for new video notifications, like, comment, and share. There's